you know, I did a video not too long ago. I was talking about, you know, the full riders and some things that I wouldn't do out here on the streets. And uh, some of you called me out and said, Psycho Cruzy, you're a hypocrite. Man, look at you. You busting wheelies in neighborhoods, speeding in neighborhoods. And you sitting up here on your high horse, you know, telling what other people what they shouldn't do out here. And how they should ride safe. And here you ride like a fool out here. Psycho Cruiser, what's up with that, man? I think you're a hypocrite. Well, you know what, guys? In this video, I'm going to respond to that. And I'm going to tell you what's up. Let's go for a ride. watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit PsychoCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. I'll tell you guys whether you're riding like a fool out here or you're the safest rider in the world you need to wear your gear and I got some awesome gear if you want to get this gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tent shield motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe sadichi jacket boots gloves all my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of my video <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, I love that triple cylinder sound with that Akrapovich exhaust. <laughs> Sounding proper. <laughs> yeah. But you guys are calling me a hypocrite. Hey, you better watch. Watch it. Watch it there, Van. And we pulling out in front of Cycle Cruise up in here. Let's get up on the highway. A lot of you guys. It's a cycle cruise and quit talking bad about the highway banditos, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I love that tote. MT09, baby. I'm gonna be getting that new 2021 MT09 that's even proper, more proper. Yeah. But you know what guys? There's a difference between, you know, doing a little bit of hooligan riding here and there as opposed to being a straight fool like getting up here on the highway and just cranking the throttle full open throttle racing each other doing you know 150 plus miles per hour weaving in and out of cars now that's just moronic that's just stupid you know what i'm saying yes it's stupid for me to be doing a little bit of speed in the neighborhoods and popping wheelies but i didn't say you know that I'm an angel out here on the streets. I've never said that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got evil and good on both of my one, evil on one side and good on the other side. And it's trying to, the, the good is trying to battle the evil over here and saying, Psycho Cruiser, keep that, keep that throttle hand uh, under control, man. <laughs> You know, I did a video called the Throttle Crank Syndrome. Go check that video out. Video link in the description and comment section of this video. I tell you guys, it's a real problem. It's a real syndrome, man. You know what I'm saying? It's an addiction, ripping on that throttle. But the reason why I do it in the neighborhoods, I, I don't do pin the throttle in a neighborhood and just I'm doing 100 miles an hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. No, I don't do that, man. If you notice, when I speed in neighborhoods, and I do just little bursts of speed, I pop the throttle here and there in the hood, but there's nobody around. I would never speed around if I see youngins out here and, and people, people period, out on the sidewalks or anything. I don't do stupid stuff like that because at any moment somebody can run across the street and get harmed or something, and that could set your license up and put you in jail and set you up for a real effed up date. Okay, I'm not stupid like that. If you notice any time I'm popping a wheelie or speed or for the most part, there's nobody around in the neighborhood at all. And I just do a little burst here and there. Okay, so let's get that straight. But no, I'm not a perfect angel rider out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the most safest rider, but I do ride defensively out here. You have to ride defensively out here man you have to see each and every one of these cars as though they're gonna get you I don't play in that aspect man and I wear the full gear out here 
you know there's like i said there's a there's a difference between you know being a little hooligan rider here there and being a straight fool man we got a lot of squids out here don't wear any gear lighting the throttle up doing uh you know wheelies out here on the highway speed i mean straight long wheelies out here racing each other crazy stuff yeah <laughs> that's just stupid because you fall from that wheelie and you go down this road is like a belt sander guys if you're not wearing your jacket and you go down on the highway <laughs> it's, it's gonna scrape down to the bone most likely man it's gonna set you up for a real effed up day possibly no days left if you get nailed by a car it's really stupid to mess around on the highway man it's just dumb you know what i'm saying there's always cars out here um now i know some of you guys out there race on the highway at night nobody's around stuff like that that's safer i guess you know what i'm saying but just don't get caught by the police <laughs> you get caught by the police your license is gonna have a real effed up day but and then you still can get hurt out here doing those triple digit speeds that's why I always say, guys, take the triple digit speeds and stuff. Take it to the track. You know what I'm saying? I've never. I've always said that I've only been a zero to hundred guy out here. You know what I'm saying? I just do a little zero to hundred burst. I'm not out here, you know, trying to do crazy top end speeds, man. It, take that to the uh, drag strip and take it to the racetrack you know what i'm saying it's a much safer environment for that type of riding the street is just really just made for cruising man you know what i'm saying yeah busting a wheelie here and there which some of you guys are critics about my wheelies you're like cycle cruise why don't you get up the balance point and ride it down the street doing it you just popping a wheelie here there and chasing it dude i am going to do a proper wheelie video for you guys where i'll wheelie across a parking lot or something okay <laughs> in the neighborhoods i'm not trying to do a balance point street long wheelie out here it's just it's not i'm not trying to be a menace to the neighborhood <laughs> there man i'm already uh, a, a little bit of a hooligan a menace in that way but me just popping a little wheelie here and there chasing a little one here and there uh, you know i do clutch ups by the way these are not power wheelies that i'm doing your torque wheelies like some of you guys i do if you look at my my middle finger my clutch finger i do uh second gear and third gear clutch ups okay but i'm not trying to pull it all the way up where i have i can't see good doing a sitting wheelie on a balance wheelie uh and ride it down the street and then something can happen you know you gotta have a little fun out here you know what i'm saying but honestly I kudos to the 100% safe riders that always ride the speed limit, that do everything you're supposed to do. Kudos to you, man. That's awesome. Because to be honest with you, a lot of us doing this foolishness out here is what's causing riders to have a real effed up day and it makes the motorcycles look bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not the motorcycle's fault, it's the rider. You know what I'm saying? I would never blame the motorcycle and say, oh, they're dangerous. No, it's the rider that's dangerous most of the time, man. And of course, these cagers out here, you got to watch them at all times. But it's not the motorcycle. Stop blaming the motorcycle, okay? It's you. It's me. <laughs> but I, I, you know what I'm saying? I pick my poison, though. You know, I, like I said, pop a wheelie here and there and uh, do a little speed burst here and there. That, but my name is cycle cruiser i've always been about just cruising man and chilling and enjoying the ride but i do like speed but I, i'm not a fool about it you know what i'm saying when i get into track riding which i'm looking for a property a 10 acre plus property uh with no restrictions no hoa that's uh near a track here in ohio which i already looked at one um i do want to become i, I want to get a dedicated track bike get another cdi maybe 1000 triple i this time and make it a dedicated track bike which those bikes are made for you know what i'm saying and uh i i, I can't wait to do that i've been talking about it for years but it never happens because i just never feel like driving way out to the track and you know what i'm saying but when i live close there'll be no excuses <laughs> but anyways guys so let's clarify that it's not that i'm being a hypocrite out here 
I'm just saying, you know, don't be a straight fool out here and do the really crazy stuff and trying to do knee slides and elbow slides out here, which is not a trick. That's just a byproduct of speeding around a corner and you really should be speeding around public streets because that could set you up for effed up day should you run and a handful of gravel or a small animal runs out in front of you. Uh, take it to the track, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. I st you notice, man, I, I, I just do a lot. That's why I got this MTL 9 because it doesn't have the top end. It's just got that bottom end grunt that I love just for, for ripping it here and there. And it sounds amazing with that Akrapovich exhaust. I love it. And I uh, may possibly get that new 2021 MTO9. I may get it before I even sell this bike so I can properly compare the two for you in a video. But uh, anyways, guys, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. What do you guys think, man? I love to hear from you. That's why I love doing these videos because I love talking with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my All-in-One Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.